You know, like we like to end every single show with this big crazy finale. But I'd like to say something first. In the 18 years that we've been a band, one thing has been constant. There's always been some people that absolutely fucking hate us. It's true. I remember back in high school, some of the kids created this anti-AJR club. And they would meet at lunch, they would talk about how terrible the music was. And I, I, I don't know, maybe it was like the Broadway sounding stuff we were making. I, I genuinely don't know. But at the end of the day, it made us feel really small. Fast forward, a bunch of years later, the band started to get bigger. We had meetings with record labels, and all of them said the same thing. They said, eh, we're gonna put you in a room with writers and change everything about you. Even today, even today it's kind of hard to escape, honestly. It feels like everyone on the internet has an opinion about the stuff that we do on stage or the weird topics we're writing songs about. But um, every step of the way, Boston, every step of the way, there's been one thing that's kept us from listening to those people. And that was our dad. It was our dad, yes. Even up until last year, it was our dad that told us to keep going. He said, keep going, and eventually, you'll find some people that see the world the same way you do. He, he was right, and now, He's gone. In an instant, he's just not here anymore. And my dad had his flaws, but one thing I could say about him, he was really, truly, unapologetically himself. Every inappropriate joke he made at a dinner party, every time he embarrassed us by wearing AJR merch to a parent-teacher conference, he was truly himself. And on his last day alive, we were in the hospital, joking around, saying goodbye. We asked him for his biggest piece of life advice. And he said, don't ever spend one second of your life not being yourself. Go be the biggest version of yourself. And it's a scary thing to do. But I'm going to say something right now that I wanted to say for a very, very long time. Fuck those high school bullies. Fuck those record labels. Fuck the internet critics that don't get what we're doing up here. For the rest of our life, we're going to stay this stage, walking on treadmills, bringing shadows to life, singing our weird songs. Because in 18 years, finally, we have found a room of people that see the world the same way we do. Because life is really, really short, guys. It's way too short to not be the biggest version of yourself. I wish I was me, whoever that